All right, now Aftab is all set to be produced in court virtually. In fact, uh, he has not been presented in person. He is now going to be appearing through video conference. Cops seek an extension of Aftab's custody. The high drama that also unfolds in the Sakir court, where we see extensively lawyers there condemning and protesting, asking for death penalty for Aftab. This is the legal fraternity now stepping up the ante and asking for death penalty for Aftab. There should be a precedent set. This kind of gruesome crime cannot be tolerated. Asking for death penalty for Aftab. This gruesome crime should be the last. At least a deterrent through a death penalty should be made, is what the legal fraternity say. Let me cut across to Akshay Dongri, Meroli, uh, who's right now at the Meroli police station limits in Delhi. Akshay, a quick word from you as we see the legal fraternity now raising demands for death penalty. While at the same time, hearing is underway by the Delhi Saket Court on extending the remand, whether or not to allow for the police to have extended custody of Aftab. But from what we know, as per investigation, there are a lot of missing links that yet need to be uncovered. And the police cannot possibly do it without Aftab in custody. When, and when, uh, Nabila, that exactly is the reason that the police is seeking an extension of the remand. Uh, that they were given earlier because, because initially only a five day remand was given to the police to uncover this case or rather to gather all the evidences that they could in the five days. Uh, the, though the police has made strides as far as the investigation is concerned, there is, a, there is a lot that still needs to be done and that is the reason that police today is going to the court uh, with, with hopes of an extension in the custody. In all likelihood, the court is going to grant that as well because uh, the court already uh, has been, uh, in fact, when, the, when Justice Shukla arrived at the court at about 3 p.m., he also talked about the sensitivity of this particular case and that exactly is the reason why uh, video conferencing was allowed for Aftab to be present in front of the judge. Uh, remember now there are protests uh, happening at the Saket court where advocates are raising slogans against Aftab asking for a death penalty to Aftab and at the same time there are several fringe groups as well who have uh, several other right wing groups, uh, several fringe groups uh, that according to police uh, pose, a, pose a threat uh, to, to uh, Aftab as far as uh, his, his life is concerned and before a trial could complete, uh, the police does not want any harm to come uh, to come to Aftab uh, before before he is given punishment uh, through an order of the court. And that exactly is the reason a video conferencing is sought by the police because we have seen that in earlier uh, uh, cases as well, the, the uh, public, is, especially in such heinous crimes, has, has been, has in fact demanded for a speedy or rather a knee-jerk reaction. Uh, 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 you know, uh, we have seen that in past cases where there have been brutalities against women, people have in fact shared uh, encounters of the, of, of the accused and the police is very wary of that because this is a very high profile case. The police wants this entire case to go according to the law and uh, the, uh, the criminal, uh, the uh, Aftab should be brought to justice only through a, a right channel. That exactly is what police is seeking right now. And uh, that is the reason a video conference was sought by the police and that was granted. The court will be starting hearing anytime soon because the timing that was given for the hearing was 4 p.m. It is now uh, 4 to, uh, so it means that the hearing may start any time now as far as the arguments of the courts are concerned. All right, you know, as, as far as we see that the uh, police has decided not to present him in person in court, they have gone through video conferencing to, uh, you know, to, to, uh, to present him before the judges as they hear all the evidence that the Delhi police have found in this case and will decide on the remand. It's, it's now very possible that the court might extend his remand considering that this is a heinous crime, heinous, heinous crime. We also heard the law minister Kiran Rijiju saying that these courts are meant to deal with such heinous uh, criminals. And considering that this man, Aftab, has himself confessed to the crime, it appears that, uh, at least, that's what we expect, that the court will allow for custody, prolonged custody of Aftab. Well, that said, I'd still like to ask you, what are the missing links in this case yet? Tell us a, a, a few uh, details that are still missing, which the cops find it mandatory to piece together before concluding this case. Well, Navila, before the DNA analysis test come, the police uh, has been looking for uh, uh, evidences at the flat. 
that now what we are showing is that FSL team got some blood stains in the kitchen area of, of Aftab's flat. However, that still has to be confirmed that whether that blood, the blood stains are of Shraddha or not. So for that, a DNA analysis will be required as well. But the key evidences that were very much required as far as building a watertight case against Aftab is concerned uh, include a cell phone of Shraddha Walker. Uh, then second will be the uh, most of the body parts, especially the skull of uh, Shraddha Walker. And the third will be the murder weapon and uh, the clothes that she was wearing on that day. However, uh, from, what, uh, the, from what this criminal has in fact confessed to the police, he has clearly said that uh, the, the murder weapon as well as the clothes that Shraddha was wearing, the blood stained, blood soaked clothes, he threw them in a moving MCD van as, uh, you know, disguising them as garbage and uh, that, that evidence will be extremely difficult to find for the police. However, the police, uh, all the police agencies, uh, all the police, uh, for, uh, you know, uh, the entire police force along with all the other agencies, investigative agencies, they are all on their heels in, in, in a bit to try and find all of these pieces of evidence as soon as possible so that uh, the, the, the trial should begin uh, in this particular case and the criminal, uh, the accused should be brought to justice as soon as possible because the public anger is growing by the day because the public has earlier as well demanded uh, or rather complained about a, a delay in the trial and uh, as you have uh, earlier mentioned as well, uh, uh, justice delayed is just denied and that exactly is the reason that the law, union law minister had to speak on this issue as well uh, and uh, talk about how uh, the courts in the country needs to be strengthened.